I want to thank everyone for their comments and suggestions that they made on uh, this unknown apple. I did look up the types of apples that people suggested to try to compare them without Rosie Sanders' book. Without that book to actually go through all the dozens of uh, characteristics of an apple, it would have been very difficult uh, to get this close to a, I'd say I'm 90 i say I'm 95% sure what the apple is as far as gala. What type of gala? Uh, there can be several. I know there's lots of gala sports out there. But I'm 95% I'm 90, confident that I have this uh, apple named right. Uh, but if you have any other suggestions, I'll look into it. Uh, if you have an unknown apple yourself. Um, the, only thing, the only problem I've had with Rosie Sanders' book is that a lot of these are uh, apples are uh, older varieties, of course, uh, and a lot of them from the UK. Not a, not as many American apples. It would be a huge book, though, if you took even a tenth of the apple varieties out there now. So uh, overall, it's a very good book. It's entertaining. Uh, the art is just superb, and. Uh, if you have a passion for apples, you need to get this book. So it helped me to identify an apple. That alone, I, and, and to me, that was worth the cost of the book. Now that the apple has been identified, to my satisfaction at least, um, well, I just wanted to make a, a video updating that and let you know. If you're interested in hearing all the characteristics why I believe it is a gala, continue watching. Otherwise, you can do something uh, more fun. So, the rest of the video is just documenting, for my own sake as a blog, um, why I believe it is a gala. And here we go. The flavor is erratic. It can be very sweet and interesting with a hint of pear drops, but can be rather flat in some seasons, and the flavor fades with keeping. Uh, when I tasted it, before I read the description, I said, "Just this tastes kind of like pear, kind of pearish taste to it." So uh, that's that's a telltale sign, I believe. The season is October to early January. The cropping is good and heavy. The flesh is yellowish cream, that matches. Firm, but quite soft. I would agree. Uh, fine textured, and the trees are moderately vigorous. This tree, I would say, is, is very vigorous. Uh, spreading and produce spurs freely. This tree is not spreading yet, but it is a young tree. It could very well be spreading in a few years when it gets its first big sets of apples. Right now, it's fairly upright. Uh, it is spurring pretty well right now, but this is its first good fruit set. It says they are suitable for the north, but prone to scab. I uh, haven't seen much scab at all on them yet, but I could be lucky. Royal Gala is a highly colored cultivar from a sport of gala, introduced in the 1970s. So I would assume mine is some sort of a, a sport, a redder colored sport. Could be royal, could be something else. They have a lot of galas now, so... In Miss Sanders' book, she then goes through talking about different things uh, to judge the apple by, not just skin color and taste and texture of the flesh, but things like its size, its overall shape, yes, the skin color, the stalk. Uh, which they show in the picture here, rather slim. Uh, mine was very fat, but then I, I read more in the book, and the king bloom can have a very fleshy or stout stem. So I looked at the tree again, and sure enough, it has a stem that's leaning to one side, and most of them are thin, but the king blooms, of which maybe half the apples were king blooms, uh, very stout, fleshy, uh, almost lumpy stem. It also talks about the stalk. 
the cavity, the eye, the basin, the tube, the stamens, the core line, the core, the cells, the seeds, the leaves, and a pollination group. So lots of information about this apple. And I went through and I wrote down my own descriptions on this piece of paper. And then I can, before I looked at uh, Ms. Sanders' descriptions, and then I compared them and underlined the difference or the, the similarities. And uh, most of it, I'd say at least 80% of everything uh, she described, I also find in my apples. So I would say this is a cultivar of Gala, a red sport of it. Um, I'll call it a, a red Gala.